Leeds United ready to bid £30 million for Nitan Nandes. Also in the news, Calvin Phillips' agent confirms he is staying at Ellen Road. And also, Alioski could be off to CSK Moscow. And everything you need to know about Leeds United, we're going to talk transfers, rumours and news as we get in to the Leeds United news. <laughs> guys, what is going on? My name is Ollie Ward and welcome back to another Leeds United transfer video. Let's not talk about the hat. I get it, okay? The hair is awful. I had to chuck a hat on it. It's not even mine. It's my, it's my sister's. As always, the support has been mental, okay? Even though I haven't even uploaded a transfer video in nearly a week, the, the, the support's still crazy. The other videos are doing well. I'm just, I'm just grateful. Thank you, guys. But if you are new, be sure to go down there, subscribe, drop a like on this video, and also comment where you're from. I always like to know, let me know where you guys are from in the comments down below. Without further ado, let's get in to the Leeds United news. Marcelo Bielsa wants Naitan Nandes. We spoke about Naitan Nandes a few weeks ago and since then, I haven't heard too much about it. I did say in the last video, Leeds could be close to signing him as the chairmans were close. I thought it would have been an easier deal to get done. I believe then the Leeds hierarchy looked at other options and then West Ham were favourites to sign Knight and Nandes. And now it looks like Leeds United are back in the race for him as Marcelo Bielsa insists in signing the Uruguayan midfielder. Marcelo Bielsa insists in signing Naitan Nandes and said he's ready to pay the release clause, which is rumoured around 36 million euros or about 30 million pounds. Marcelo Bielsa has liked Naitan Nandes even before he came to Leeds, okay? He's seen a lot of potential in the 26-year-old midfielder. Like I said, Bielsa is determined to get this deal done, but in recent reports that I read literally about half an hour ago, apparently... The player doesn't seem too convinced to come to Ellen Road. Despite these rumours, and apparently he has said that, I'm not too sure about that. Leeds United want him. They want this deal done. This is all paper talk, obviously, but if that was true and he came out and he said, I'm not really convinced with Leeds United, would you want him at the club anyway with that sort of attitude? To play at Leeds United and under Marcelo Bielsa should be a privilege and to not be convinced... Do we want a player like that at the club? And especially for that much money. Either way, Marcelo Bielsa wants this transfer done and is ready to pay the release clause £30 million for him. Will we get it done? Who knows? It's Leeds United at the end of the day. Most likely we probably won't. We'll probably get some random Syria B player instead. Calvin Phillips to sign new and improved deal at Leeds United. Calvin Phillips has certainly made a name for himself in the England lineup at the Euros so far. Despite their poor performance against Scotland, I don't think you can point out any good player in that England side for that game. Calvin Phillips was excellent in that first game at Croatia and since then, it is rumoured that a lot of clubs do like him. In recent reports, Calvin Phillips' agent has came out and spoke about Phillips' future. He has come out and said that Calvin Phillips has no desire to move on and doesn't want to move. He then followed with he would be open to sign a new and improved deal to stay at Ellen Road for longer than his current deal. Is this just his agent trying to earn a few bucks, like saying things to get the media on his side, maybe getting a bit of money for him? Or do you think there's genuine truth in this? Does Calvin Phillips want to stay at Leeds United? I believe he does. And if he doesn't, I will be heartbroken. Calvin Phillips has impressed a lot of fans and pundits during his England time, and I hope he stays at Leeds United next season. And it looks like he wants a new and improved deal to stay at Ellen Road, which is always good, but sometimes you never know the agents. They just like to twist things. But let's hope Calvin Phillips does want to stay at Leeds United for the future. CSK Moscow wants Alioski. CSKA Moscow have tabled an offer of £40,000 a week for Alioski. He's contracted at Leeds till June 30th, which is literally a week and a bit away. The North Macedonian international has to make his mind up and fast. Leeds United have had an offer on the table for Alioski for a few weeks now, and I believe it is not as much as £40,000 a week. Will Alioski choose Leeds United or will money talk and he will move away from Ellen Road. He has nine days to decide his future at Leeds United. Obviously, Leeds United will be getting in a new left back, but does that see Alioski's exit? I really hope he does stay at Ellen Road, but £40,000 a week, I don't know if he can turn that down. Unless Leeds United come out with a brilliant contract for him and get him to stay at Ellen Road. You know, he's a cult hero. He is a fan favourite. I personally believe Alioski 
should stay at Ellen Road. And my question of the day for you guys is, will Alioski stay or go? It's not what you want, it's what you believe will happen. I personally want him to stay, but unfortunately, I think he will leave. I think his time in a Leeds United shirt is done. But let me know in the comments down below, guys, will Alioski stay or leave? Let me know in the comments down below. And in other Leeds United news, Leeds United miss out on Angus Gunn as he is now today undergoing a medical at Norwich City. Norwich City were favourites for Angus Gunn for a long time and then out of nowhere Leeds tried to hijack this deal but it looks like we've failed. It looks like the lifelong Norwich City fan Angus Gunn will be signing a long-term deal at Carra Road. Unfortunately, Leeds do miss out on Angus Gunn. He is a very good backup goalkeeper to have, but it does look like he will be playing first team football at Norwich City. It was sad that Leeds couldn't get Angus Gunn in as he is a very, very good goalkeeper. But uh, yeah, no, I hope he does well at Norwich and I hope we stick in four or five against him when we come to Welland Road, okay? I hope we just smash him now. I'm only joking, okay? I'm only joking. We'll be rumoured to about eight different goalkeepers now, but Angus Gunn is not one of them. Leeds United quite confident of making first choice signing as talks progress. Apparently, this is a left back that no one has heard about. They've kept the news quite low. Same happened about Rodrigo, Lorente, Koch came out of nowhere. I think we're doing a deal quite secret to the media. This is not necessarily a bad thing, it's just I can't report anything about it because I don't know anything about it. Like I said, it's just bad for me because I can't report any news to you guys, but all I know, it is a left back, apparently. I'll try and keep you guys up to date on this transfer. If any rumours or any news comes out about this, I will let you guys know in the next few weeks. So I hope you guys did enjoy the Leeds United news. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Can we smash? 80 likes on this video. I know you guys can do it. Let's try and do it pronto. So if you, yeah, you right there, have not smashed that like button, make it go blue, hit that like button. Apologies for the hat, okay? My hair is, okay, let's not talk about it. Let's put the hat back on. But either way, I hope you did enjoy the Leeds United news. Like I said, guys, if you are new, be sure to subscribe, comment, and drop a like. Comment where you are from, as always. And also, will Alioski stay or go? Not what you want, what you believe. I want him to stay. I think he will go. But who knows? Let me know in the comments down below. I will be giving you guys lots more transfer news over the next week as it does look like Leeds United need to sign some players now, okay? We're getting bored over here, Leeds. Sign some players. Without further ado, I've been Ollie Ward. You've been excellent, and I'll catch you next time. Cheery. Oh. <laughs>